<sighs> First day back after a long while. Hmm. Man, that train was bullshit. At the very least, I know I got stronger. Being a hero would be nothing. <laughs> Izuku. Hmm? Yeah, what is it, Mom? Breakfast is ready. Huh? Oh, right. This is Izuku. He goes downstairs. He sees... Hmm? What? It's bacon and eggs and pancakes. You should remember the breakfast that he would have when he was training with Kenpachi. It was pretty much fish. And whatever it is he ended up catching. As he takes bites, he is crying tears of joy. But quickly he gets over it. Sea finishes. Alright, I'm going out. Where are you going now? Training. You did that? Yeah, but I can't get rusty if I want to be a great hero. Uh, but. Thanks for the meal, Mom. <sighs> See you later. He, he's changed a lot. <sighs> and I can't really connect with him like I used to. Oh, well. As long as he's happy, I guess. Oh, damn. This sun like, feels good. Guess I'll go by the beach. Let's see, where is it now? Oh, damn it. Now I, I need to get used to this terrain again. Huh. Some of these buildings even look a little different. It's five years all it takes for me to forget my own home. <laughs> nah. I think I should blame you, Jiro. I think it's her fault. Uh, so, such a sweet little girl. She is crazy as hell hell. Which makes sense why Master enjoys her company so much. Hmm. Alright, let's see. Ah, uh, uh, okay, here we go. Dig up a beach. Uh, says here it was... It's beautiful. Real tourist attraction. As well as locals. As soon as he gets there, he sees the piles of trash. He's like, Oh, God, that stinks! I'm, I'm going to need to fix that. Well, I could do that, or just go somewhere else. And again... Doing this would be considered a public service, if not good training. Hell, I'll be a saint this time. Why not? This is, the cleaning goes on the way, and Yuzuku is nobly bored, but ultimately he knows it's for the greater good of the whole uh, me becoming a great hero. But. This is when he notices. Uh, <sighs> this is a lot more trash than I thought it was gonna be. Wait, it's my spirit energy. I may not have a sunpock toe, but if anything, energy can be shaped, molded into what I need. Hmm. Maybe that's what I can try. Find any other uses for it besides a barrier. As he gets into a meditative stance and, and starts focusing on his spirit energy, it flowing throughout him like it's huh, a river. But when it comes to shaping it, there's an issue here. 
What should he shape it as? A sword? Eh, he doesn't really need one. Plus, he just uses the sword he has, just pretty much enhances it with his spirit energy. A gun? Uh, maybe. Huh, why not? As it takes the shape of an arm. <laughs> now we're talking. Him grabbing a huge chunk of trash and crushing it. <laughs> All that hellish trade that almost killed me really came in handy. Hmm. Okay. That's one thing I can do. What else can I use it for? As, yeah, Izuku, he is still very, you could say, a bit of a strategist, not an analyst. And uh, when it comes to shaping energy, it's pretty much his whole, the imagination is your limit. The only issue is, he's been with Kenpachi for so long, so, yeah, his creativeness is dwindled a little bit, except for wasting to kill or maim somebody to the point where they wish they were dead. So if anything, he spends more time on the internet trying to find out other ways to utilize his spirit energy, some other ways to craft things that he might need. Which, what else, what the hell would he need? Yes. Oh well, yeah, I still need a hero costume. The one Mon gave me is nice and all, but ultimately I can't really use it. Too weak. <sighs> well, I guess it's time to go home. Is he here something in the alley? Hmm. Perhaps someone needing my assistance. Or. <laughs> Someone needing to be taught a lesson. Him walking into it. This. Hmm? Who the hell are you? Listen, kid. Just don't bother me here. We're uh, having a little lover's quarrel. Really? Looks like she doesn't want to be around you from... Well, I can tell. And I... I smell blood. I don't think it's coming from you, guy. Well, how about you just mind your own business? Yeah, I can't do that. Izuku walking up. Like, Listen, boy. I don't want to hurt you. Really? Cause I right now want to hurt you. Fine as Isuku, he falls back a little bit. See, I try to be nice, but no, you decide to be a pain in the ass. Girl screaming is, huh? Wow. I've been slashed, stabbed, choked, almost drowned, as he just under just remembers all the things Kampachi had him do for training. He's like, but I have never been shot before. I like it. It, it kind of tickles. <laughs> Ow! Hmm. Oh, compared to what I had to train to get to where I am now, that's nothing. As he focuses on the guy, he narrows his vision. Listen, I don't know how you did that, but if you don't back up, I'm gonna. As he points it right at this woman, she's starting to cry. He's, uh, mm. Ugh, your society is really fucked up. This world, hasn't it? Wait, what are you talking about? As he unleashes his spirit energy, comes the guy. To vomit until he passes out. The woman running in to hug him and say thank you and it's a big hug for me. Uh, what? 
You wouldn't need saving if you could defend yourself. Take a martial arts class, something for self-defense. You won't have to worry about a stranger coming to save you. Seriously, you can't rely on heroes all the time. Sometimes you gotta be your own hero. Izuku pretty much grabbing the guy and dragging his unconscious body like he's just a raggedy bag he doesn't even want but has to carry regardless. I, um, thank you, I guess? <sighs> Whatever. And this is how that ends. Who that woman was? I ain't telling y'all asses. No, not yet. I, I have plans here. Damn it, <sighs> man! If, if y'all really thought about how much I, how much thought I put into what if, you, hell, that any what if puts any thought, it's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, either way. When it comes to the rest of the time before the U.S. entrance exam, Izuku is pretty much training, trying to get more in tune to his spirit energy. Actually, he does get a conjuring a sword. He just knows uh, it's not much, but it at least stands up better compared to regular swords. If only had one leg. Masters, well, that was awesome. Him accidentally caught creating something just like it. Is like, if he saw this, he would kill me for trying to copy him. <sighs> but we do wonder how far can I go with this? Hmm. I wonder how he's doing. Oh well, no need to really worry about that. Day of the issues is in. Izuku is ready, since he did have five months to not only train his newly found power and his mind, he aces the theoretical exam. When it comes to the practical, Prison Mike doesn't even get a chance to start a countdown if he was going to do one. Izuku already slashed through the doors. With his makeshift sword made of spirit energy. And yeah, everyone is pretty much still dumbfounded while President Mike is trying to tell them there are no countdowns in the real battle. Seeing that there is nothing but nothing but uh, scrap metal left. These look for robots, there aren't any. When it comes to the zero pointer, let's do at least just. 20 of them, and Izuku one slash ends them all. They had to stop the test because Izuku got rid of everything. Because he was bored. Yes, he was bored, so he decided to take away every robot, every point possible, so he got a perfect score. All night? Yeah. I think we found your successor. Huh? Him? He doesn't need my quirk. What's it, what is his quirk anyway? He, he doesn't have one. Excuse me? What was that energy he shot out of a sword or whatever? He calls it a, a technique. Uh, he, the power he learned to utilize through years of training. He called it spirit energy. Huh? Y yeah. Okay, I, I, I'm not so sure about that. Aizawa? That's not a quirk. What? That is not a quirk. I was so sure I have tried. As soon as I read the paper saying that he was quirkless, I was like, no, 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 I couldn't believe that after his display of power. So I tried to erase a quirk. He has none. He is quirkless, Toshi. 
Shit! I mean, <laughs> yeah, he's corkless. Man, I had to say it, didn't I? I just had to say Yoshi. Damn! Mario do does Yoshi dirty. Anyway, <clears throat> it's like, are you serious? Yeah, he doesn't have a quirk. <sighs> that's, that's impossible. With something like that, he could easily become the number one hero. They need to look at his attitude, which he's all like, oh, this is... Uh, can someone give me an actual challenge? Can anyone stand up to me? Like, okay, you might be able to become number two here, but number one with that attitude? Mm -mm. <sighs> Seriously. What about that Bakugo kid? No, his attitude sucks. I might actually go with Mirio. Mm, why not give it to someone who actually doesn't have a quirk? What, so they could be like me? No, so they could be... Yeah, technically another pillar of hope. Because what I can tell from those two boys, they're good. Hmm. That is actually a good idea. Hell. Oh. More than one symbol of peace. That could be perfect. Because if one falls, there's still more to carry the load. That's that, wait. Why did I think of that sooner? Well, yeah, actually, what the hell? If there's only one, what happens if that one fails or dies? The whole society will go to shit. Huh? Yeah. I, yeah. yeah it, it, Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I'm going home. I'm going home. I'm going to contemplate this. What do we just do? I don't know. But I'm looking forward to see how this goes. <laughs> mm. As soon as this good leaves, he's... Well, <clears throat> that's done. Thank like, you. Katsuki. What are you doing here? I just finished the entrance exam. Yeah, all right, whatever. Oh, yeah, believe me. <laughs> no. Huh. Oh, well, I don't care. Later. Bongo's like, don't you dare walk away from me. Tell me why you're really here. Finish entrance exam if you don't believe me. Oh, tough titty. I don't care. <clears throat> Why are you looking down on me? Hmm? Looking down at you? Oh. Because I'm taller than you. <clears throat> That's not what I meant. I know what you meant, dumbass. I just don't care. If anything, just stay out of my way. You won't get hurt. You can't hurt me, you quirkless, as this presence just surrounds Bakugo. He feels fear. Something that... Where's that coming from? Me, dumbass. I kind of like it. I want to see you scared. I want you to realize... That Deku's gone. And I am all that's left. Do you fear me? <laughs> I, I don't know. What is this? <laughs> you better step up your game. Or you will never become no more hero. Uh, <laughs> Understood. Good boy. Suku walking off. Koski like, what the fuck just happened? As Suku gets ready to check out his results, when he learns that he passed, he is all too. Eh. 
I knew it.